Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're gonna be personalizing this wallet, one. Two, we're gonna wrap it up and make it look super cute for Christmas. All right, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. So, all right, let's get started. This is just, I absolutely love to wrap gifts. Um, I also like to personalize. <laughs> so, all right, what we're doing is, this is a Kate Spade Slim Wallet. Um, and we're not gonna be scared to personalize it. I used to be, but um, now I'm not so worried because I trust my HTV. So let's get started. This is Polytape HTV. I did it in a bronze. So if you can see, this wallet has like gold right here, and this bronze just looks like it fits in, okay? Um, the other thing is this font. You wanna follow the Design Space tutorial. It's the one that's right before this one. I love this font because I'm gonna read it right now so that you can see it. It looks very intricate and delicate, but it is uniform all the way around. So like the glyphs don't get tinier. Um, it's a good size all the way through. And then let me just make sure that when I'm reading this that it's good to go. All right. So, the font is super, super cute. Um, we were limited in space, right? But we were even more limited in space because the, the length of it, um, I only wanted to go about three inches because I didn't want to go to the edges where the stitching is. And this one, for each letter, it's a wide space, right? but it's so pretty and so worth it. So it's teeny tiny and am I missing? Hold up. I wanna make sure I'm not missing. Oh, I'm missing the little bow. The bow came off. Hold on, it didn't weed. So give me just one second. I'm gonna put this back. I wanna put it down. It was a super, super teeny tiny bow over the eye. So I just wanna make sure that it's there. And I got it, okay. I mean, it's so cute. I love this font and I love it on this wallet. So we're gonna get going. All right, so I have my mini Cricut on the side heated up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down and then what we're gonna do is, oh wait, let me read out all the middle pieces, all the little inside the G, for instance, and the and the E. It's such a cute font, and it looks good even without the little pieces weeded. That I almost, I almost messed up. Okay, we're almost there. These pieces are so small, look at, <laughs> can you even see? Okay, um, we're almost there, I promise. Got the A and then a little bit of this E over here. And I will do a close up, but you will also see it on my Instagram, so. Okay. So now that we have it all, I'm gonna put it down and that looks about even. So what I'm gonna do is I'm holding it in place and I'm putting my Teflon down. And I wanna heat it up so enough so that it sticks to my wallet. And then I'm gonna tear away, I'm gonna peel off the protective coat up here, the transfer. And you want to go slow because if something hasn't, you know, attached itself to the wallet, you don't want to rip it off. So, no, nope, it's all good. So now that we have this, look at how cute that is, right? And that bronze totally matches this gold. <clears throat> I'm now going to put the Teflon back on and I want heat direct onto that thing. More than, because before it had that protective covering on top and I don't think it got enough heat. 
So we want to just press down. And then you want to feel it. You want to make sure that nothing is sticking up. And oh my gosh, it's so delicate and so perfect. Seriously, look, Paige. So cute, right? Okay, so this box is from Home Goods. It's $2.50, but it's such a pretty and sturdy box. I just bought it. I feel like it's going to look so good holding our gift. Okay, let's get that out of the way. It's $2.50, and it's a really nice box, but we're actually going to get rid of the ribbon because we're going to use our own ribbon because I like to wrap. So, all right, let's move that out of the way. So I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm going to peel this off. I mean, this is cute and all, but we're going to make it cuter. And I love that this box is so nice and sturdy. So it doesn't want to come off. So I'm going to take my... Okay. So I've got my box. This is all good. Okay, I'm gonna get tissue paper and I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna turn this off and then I'm just gonna cut this in half or even less than a half. Move it aside. Oh, you know what? Look at that. It has this little insert. I'm going to take it out so that there's space for this. Put our little wallet in. gonna do this cute okay. put it all the way across even though I know I don't need to okay here we go It's a cute flamingo. And so I want to make sure that the flamingo is front and center. So I'm going to do this. Okay. And then let's start wrapping this. I like my wrapping to be nice and tight. So I do like to pu pull it like this so that it gets the sharp edges and then tape it down. And then do one side at a time. Stick your fingers in, make sure that you're getting the sharp, nice folds. Same thing with the paper. We're gonna come back to that. We're gonna now put this down, do this side first. Just fold down the two sides and make your creases. Flip it over on this side. Here we have it. Um, we could do okay. 
I think it'll be cute to do like a side ribbon with bows like this. So it's like a third over here and then a third at the top is where the bow is going to be. So we've got one, two, let's move this down a little bit and then let's cut off this ribbon. Okay. tie it like so. When you do your first tie right here, I like to do it where it's the four ends. The two tails go out this way so that you get a really nice tight close. And then I'm going to put keep my ring finger down over there while I do this. Pull this down, my ring finger is still there so that the knot is really tight right there. All right, so now I've got that. When I do my bow, I'm gonna do two small hoops, fold it in. When I start to pull it out, before everything, see how it's like not ready yet? I'm gonna pull down this tail, get it into position, because you can still move everything before you tighten it up. So, oh my gosh, so cute, right? And it's nice and tight. I'm gonna leave it right here for now. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna grab one of these cute little ornaments. It's from Target. Look how cute that is. Do we do one or two? Two might be too much. I feel like it's too big. Do one. That's cute, right? Okay, so let's tie this in. I'm gonna loop it under. Even though it's super tight, there's enough space for a thin piece of ribbon. I'm gonna double knot it. And then tie, cut off the edges. And then just move it around so you don't really see it. And see Seriously, how cute is that? Okay, then we're gonna cut off this just to make it, oops, no, wrong scissors. See how it didn't wanna cut the ribbon? You want really sharp scissors, and I'm just gonna cut it at an angle. And then I'm gonna take a lighter, and I just wanna make sure that my ends don't unravel on me, so I'm just gonna singe it. <laughs> All right. So there it is, and look how stinking cute that is, and it's a personalized wallet. I love it. I love that it's Christmas, but non-traditional, right? Like, this is going to look so pretty under her tree with lots of colors, but it's still Christmassy, and there you have it. So, all right, this is from Target, in case I missed telling you guys that. Um, that's it. Let me know if you have any comments or questions, but like seriously, how adorable is this? This is for my daughter's softball coach. I think she's going to love it. Um, all right. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining. Bye.